The tape you're about to hear was made when Sid was speaking at Shawnigan Lake to a bunch of the Foundation people, and on the other side is when he spoke to the Victoria Centre. They were both made in July of this year, 1977. What you're going to look for is spiritual facts. Not spiritual beliefs that you've read or you've heard from somebody else. You look for a spiritual fact, a fact that comes from within you. And if you hang on to your old beliefs of the past, of how to attain this knowledge, then you're going nowhere. Because if you're going if anywhere at all, you'd have been there a long time ago if you already had that knowledge. So you've got to start to realize you don't know as much as you think you know. Huh? Then you start listening to spiritual facts because it is a spiritual world. It really is. It truly, truly, truly is a spiritual world manifest, manifest by thought via a superconscious state that lies within you. And that superconscious state is known as Christ consciousness. You see, all you have to do is listen and hear or see a spiritual fact, then a belief changes into a fact. And the difference between a belief and a fact is a belief is dead. A fact, when seen and heard, the breath of the very essence of life itself is put into that belief and then it reflects and changes into an absolute fact. This is touching, for the first time, the Christ consciousness that lies within. When you start to realize this, you start to realize there's nothing to do to find your happiness. All you have to do is live. And the spiritual realities which you are tapping will take care of you. Because you are a microscopic part of the whole. And because there is no separation from the whole, you are. And all you're doing is handing over your ignorance of yourself to your inner self to realize that the inner self was what we call Christ consciousness, which is attached to what we call God, which is all one. Mankind, Christ consciousness, and God are all one. The only thing that separates them is our mind with the ignorance of its own divinity. What we see, we think is real. And it is real. Because it is a separate reality. It is a Reality we call life. But the creator of this reality as we know is inside. Because it is a spiritual reality that lies within which is the creator of all things on earth which is known as God reflecting and playing his game via a conscious state which every living soul has and is at all times. You see, the word is a very beautiful way to guide people home. But the word itself means nothing. It's beyond the word. Because when, when truth leaves the mouth, the second it leaves the lips, 
it is no longer a fact. It is no longer truth. It's a, a belief. It's a concept. It's an idea. This is how truth is hidden from mankind. It's a perfect game. Because you can't hear it from your mind, from your own thoughts. You must clean your mind and let the past, which is controlling you now, let it drop away and see here and now. Because seeing here and now is the only time you will ever see the true meaning of Christianity or the true meaning of finding yourself or the true meaning of finding God or the true meaning of what life really is. It's a... You see, the beauty of seeing this as soon as you start to see spiritual facts, then you start to see the world in a clearer, more understanding, more loving way. And as you start to see the world in a more loving and understanding way, then your insecurity and your fears and your jealousies and your hate and your, all your negative behavioral patterns will stop because you will start to see what is. You'll see the beauty that really lies in every living soul, the, the oneness. You'll start to see the spiritual facts. As you start to see them, your life will become what you really want it to be. Because you'll start to realize that you are the creator of all things. Not you as a body. You as an inner self. From here, the creation. Inside, inside you. Inside is the, lies the secret to all social, all problems in the universe. Really, you don't have to go anywhere or listen to anybody because you have the secret. You have the, the absolute within you at all times. But because this is what spiritual awakenings do. They guide you. It, this is why Christ spoke of the inside. Eh? It's a spiritual awakening which changes the, the reality of beliefs and thoughts and concepts to facts. And the facts are always, always positive. They must be positive. Higher levels of conscious state must be positive, must be more positive than the one below it. And people will say, well, you shouldn't really say high and low, but that's not true. It's a fact. It exists because the world is nothing but a huge divine situation where every human soul is in a separate level of conscious state. It must be this because this is a, the gift of the free will and the free mind to see or think or feel wherever or be whatever you want to be. And this is why we all see similarities. Because we all play the same game. But we all see it different. Because the way we see it, we have now gone from the, the divine all being the same to the, to the human seeing differently. And this is where the, the secret lies. This is where when you can go out into the human, to the outside uh, and you go back inside to the divine part, but it's getting in there. That's the secret. That's how you need a key. You need a key. 
And the key is the way. And the way is to look inside and see spiritual facts. And when you see those spiritual facts, those are the keys to open the treasure chest that give you more. Knowledge. Knowledge of one's inner self, not of anybody else's inner self. That's of no value whatsoever. You must find your inner self. Only from inside you can any true level of conscious state rise or can any true knowledge of your spiritual identity. This is the only way it can come is from within yourself. Only within yourself. And truth, when heard, is the healer of literally all things. All things. If everybody in the universe could hear, there would be no problems. There would truly be heaven here on earth. But the way it's done is each living soul finds himself. And as he starts to find himself, he truly starts to find heaven here on earth. Then one day, he finds out the meaning of the whole thing of heaven and earth. And comes to the true realization that heaven and earth are all one. They always have been and they always will be. Because the earth is the illusion from the heavenly state. All you have to do is see that as a fact. See, you already know it, because you are it. Here is where true freedom lies. Here's where you can start to see the, the funny side of life. Because everybody has the perfect act, and they all do the little acts. And any time you want, you just turn around and look at a little act. But you... You don't, don't join in the act. Yeah? You just sit and enjoy the act. And if you do join the racks, then you don't get caught up with the negative feelings that are created around it. You, you learn to go up and down levels of consciousness. Because levels of consciousness is the secret of Christianity. It is Christianity. It's Buddhism. It's everything. It's all the same thing. Just the names are different. The names don't mean anything. Words don't mean anything. It's what's beyond the word. Where the true meaning is. And this is where we get mixed up, eh? Some will say, well, I follow this religion. And others say, oh, well, I follow that religion. I know they're the same, I realize they're the same, I realize, truly realize that we, we can uh, do it together. That's nonsense, it's total nonsense. When you find true religion, there's no name on it. There can't be, it's impossible. Because true religion is every religion in the world put together, everyone. But when you find it, it stands alone because it's, it's all. And whatever name anybody puts on it, it doesn't really honestly matter. True religion has no name. It, it just is. It's, this justiceness is, is God in motion, eh? It's God and it's God formless and it's, uh, it's God with form, formless. It's 
It's everything. This isness. This isness is God. You can hear that. You'll be set free for eternity. You'll find your utopia. If you can see everything is a, because it is. If you take a, a, a drop of water, right, and you, you throw it in the Pacific Ocean, the second it hits it, it's, it's, it's a Pacific Ocean. And that's the same with us. If we can land in this ocean, and this ocean is a conscious state which is directly attached to this ocean, then you realize that the, the whole ocean is there to help, to protect, to, to guide, to show you the way. It's, this is what you're searching for. This is your home ground. There, where you came from is this ocean, this ocean of knowledge, because this place called heaven, this, eh, this, this super conscious state when touched, it's the same thing, eh? It, it lies inside. And you, all you have to do is listen. We know what's been happening here. It's beautiful, eh? We know it, it cures sicknesses. We, we've seen it. We know it. But there's never a name to knowing. Never. Never stop. Never falter. Keep wide open to new experiences. Don't let yesterday's thoughts stop you from reaching this place called heaven here on earth. It's, you must keep open. And the more you keep open, do you know what that is? The more you keep open, and another word, it's called faith. And faith is power, whether knowingly or unknowingly, manifesting itself directly from what we call God. And the more you see the results, such as you people losing your sicknesses and your, all your problems and everything's being taken <coughs> care of and your businesses are all being taken care of and you're taken care of, your children, you know that. The more it, it, it proves itself, eh? then the more courage you get to, to look yet deeper until someday the trust comes so much that you absolutely give up the search Totally, and just live in a world of true love and true understanding, knowing that everything that happens will be absolutely perfect, and it will be. And it will be, because you'll find the secret to perfection. You see, you find the secret to perfection. This is what Christianity does. It leads you to the perfection of life beyond the mind to the inside and find this perfection of life and as you travel down this road you become your own psychologist and psychiatrist and theologian because you're beyond anything like that that's on the mind. We know better. It's Christianity's inside. It's the it's just a coming of the mind and seeing now the perfection of now. For a microscopic second, this is what you call a flash or an insight. Uh, this is this is what we're searching for is insights. Find it now. Honestly, that's the only time you'll find it. That's why it's been hidden for so many years. But uh, and it's the only way you'll ever, ever, ever help the universe to get out of the mess it's in. 
is by raising the level of conscious state of the universe. Then all the beauty will start to come out and all the ignorance will start to fall away and the problems that go with ignorance. It's a spiritual universe. You must go inside to the realization of this fact. Then you'll find your freedom. Then you'll find all the knowledge and all the love and all the understanding that you've ever, ever, ever dreamt of in your life. Sharing really honestly is, is the greatest lubricant to help you to get to where you're going. Just makes things just slide you. Sharing. And not sharing problems. <laughs> Not sharing your past, you can do that any time, but sharing the spiritual facts that have happened to you, or the spiritual facts that lie within yourself, it, that's what it's found. Not anybody else giving it to you. Nobody can give it to you. Do you know what you're really searching for? It's lost feelings. You're searching for lost feelings. Feelings that you forgot exist. Feelings that are so far beyond your imagination, they're long gone. And this is what you're searching for. So what we do is we try and search for information to try and find those feelings. Well, that's going backwards. You find the feelings. And these feelings turn the knowledge into a true reality. By accepting the very feeling with the knowledge, you step yet further into the state of meditation to realize more of God, more of life, more of happiness, more of the universe. Once again, you've risen a level of conscious state. Don't be afraid of feelings. Now, I don't mean to go around and prove to yourself that you've got feelings. It's nothing to do with outside feelings. It's inside feelings. It's feelings that you know that you don't have to go anywhere to find your happiness. That the feeling already exists. The only thing that you've hidden the feeling. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to have a a meeting like this that you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> because you can guarantee the benefits of the coming. <laughs> They're just coming. It's supposed to be a happy life if you know what makes the world tick. Not what makes the human being tick. But what makes the world tick? There lies the answer. That's the inside. The human being's outside. And the only way you can help the human being is to go inside and get all this information, then go outside and tell them. That's how you find the information. Well, anyway, I'll have a dance tomorrow. But don't be late, it's only half an hour.